This work takes long-term commitment. NCCJ has been doing the work of diversity, inclusion, and community building in the Piedmont Triad for more than 80 years. Executive Director Ivan Canada says things have been busy for the last few weeks as the nation has been focused squarely on race. I think people are reaching out right now for a lot of reasons. I think people are wanting something to do. I think in this moment, we all are beginning to recognize what has been happening to people in this country, especially people of color, black people um, in various systems. Their flagship program is called Anytown, a residential camp for high school juniors and seniors. A full week of intense focus on learning from and about people who come from different backgrounds. Before I attended Anytown, I'm going to be honest, my community was predominantly white that I was in. My school was almost 100% white and so was my church, so I had never really had the opportunity to, in, to interact with anyone who looked different from me. That changed for Riley Green in 2018. On the first day, they did what's called a privilege walk. The advisors read off questions, so they started simple, like take a step forward if you grow up in a household with two parents. It's easy enough. Um, as the privilege walk went on, the questions became deeper and became more of uh, if you were taught the police were there to protect you when you were growing up take two steps forward. Riley says that really opened her eyes to what other people experience, but she says the real learning happened in the cabins. One of the girls I became closest to at the camp, her parents were undocumented, and we were having a conversation one day just talking about our lives, um, and she shared with me that she was unable to get her license because she was afraid her parents would be deported, um, and she was afraid that she couldn't go to college because her parents would be deported. She brought what she learned back to her community and has taken it with her to UNC Chapel Hill. And one of the strategies we learned at any town was if you don't feel comfortable speaking up to a crowd, you know, start with your friend group. So if someone makes um, an offensive joke, you can try to correct them and, you know, teach them uh, why that may be wrong. NCCJ goes into organizations from small family-run businesses to multi-million dollar corporations and large universities to teach those lessons through cultural bias training. We all know that in organizations, sometimes this work can be pushed off as a nice to have um, or maybe as someone's pet project. Um, and I think if nothing of the recent events have shown us, it is showing us the fact that if we do not deal with issues around race, around inclusion and around equity in our communities and in our workplaces, we're going to have problems. Problems that can be avoided by not avoiding the issue looking us straight in the face. None of us want to be wrong. None of us want to be labeled that we have a bias or prejudice, even though we know we all have it. And so um, I'm willing to take the fact that if no one's willing to share that, but willing to at least hold a mirror up to their organizations and think about where their organization has had some bias at practice. Um, I'll take that. In black and white, Tracy Clemens, Fox 8 News.